Uh, hello, this is another advanced steel video. Um, Adrian Mangan here, I'm a steel detailer. Um, and this is just something I've been working on. It's certainly not something I know uh, too much about. Uh, but as I'm doing my process, I figured I'd record some of it. So this is a simple assembly drawing. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's pretty basic. Um, so if I click on the outside box, uh, I can see this is the drawing style that I'm using. So I want to go into the drawing style and I want to have a look at the dimension strategy. So you can see I'm in the drawing here. You can see I've created my own front, top, bottom, all these. So we're going to just deal with the front view because that's the main view. And this is the view dimensions. So if you look through here, you can kind of get an idea. These dimensions are on the main part in the X direction, right? So main part X, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then you have main part Y. And then you can go down through it. You can see attached cleat with holes, left. You know, this is not something I totally understand. But when you click on it, you can see here what it's referring to. This is the extreme left. So how I decided, I, I went in and tried to learn these and figure them out. And, you know, you just need a lot of time and then you can't remember them anyway. So how I do it is I have labels in here. Now I don't have them all activated. But if we go back and if you see just happened, I came across it this morning that one of my labels came in here on this cope on the top flange. So this is label number 43. So what I would do is I would go to my screenshot. I go to my screenshot software snipping tool and I'll just take a screenshot of that and I'll make a circle on that and then I'll save that. And I'm just going to call that I'll just call it W1. No. Don't ask me why. You know, I call it C1 for Corp 1. Now, I'll change this label to to reference uh, what's in here. So, I want to find this, number 43. So, let's go back into our drawing style. Number 43. Now, these numbers, some of them are all over the place because they've come from other ones I've edited in different drawing styles. <coughs> but it should be down here somewhere. And also, we know it's a Y dimension because it's going this way. So, Y dimension, it's not an end plate. It's not holes. So, it looks like it's probably this one. Uh, now, I know it is this one, but you could see going down through it. That it's probably, it's not attached plate, attached gusset, cleat, end plate, beam end. So, click on that. And the point selection is there. So let's click on the dimension request and you can see main part beam, beam end processings. And there's other stuff here. You can see the Y direction and the definition. So that's good. So let's go, if we go into the label of this, or sorry, the dimension level, yes. You can see 43, so that is the one. So what I'm going to do is click on this. And then I'm going to take another screenshot here. And we'll call that. See, this is what we want to name it so that we can find it again. But I'll do this later. So this is what we want it to be. So I'm going to save it as C2. And then we'll minimize that and what we really should do is go back to the main screen and also take a shot of this one so new and what you're doing then is compiling something that you can look at outside the computer because you know it's not easy to just keep looking at these things so we can see here and main part beam beam and processing 
So if you look at these, then you under, you kind of start to understand a little more what's going on. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to name this C3, and what we'll do is, now we'll have a little, compile a little database of images. So what I want to do now is, let's see if we can't find this one. So this is a similar one, but in the X direction. So you can see here there's a beam end processing. So what we'll do is, um, let's close this. And this is the one we want. So let's do another screenshot. So we'll just do the second one. And we'll do a new image. Um, unfortunately, I've put my cursor over that, so let's not worry about that for now. Just so the video doesn't drag on forever. ABC, so we'll just call it D1. Save. Minimize that. Then we'll go back into the drawing style to find this one. Now the way you want it, this is the way I find them, which is uh, there is a video out there by, I think it's Philip Bono, uh, using this method. So, let's see if it is this one. So, dimension label centered, label is one. Uh, you can label this whatever you want. Uh, I put my name in there. Apply, use. So, I believe this is this dimension over here. And it is that dimension. Now, obviously, I don't want my name in there. So, what we'll do is we'll go back into that drawing style because we want to go back in to take a screenshot anyway. And we'll go back to this screen. And go to this screen. And now we're going to do another screenshot. And what, would I, what did I call the last one? D, I believe, right? So let's save this as D2. Yeah. D2. Okay. And then minimize that. And then go back here. And let's do another screenshot. New. No. So now, look, it's taken whatever, five minutes. But now you have something you can look at outside your computer that you can understand. So D3, save. So now what I want to do is I close that. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to go back into the dimension level. I'm going to change that back to one. And then I'm going to do no level. And then I'm going to also go to the beam end protocol pro processing, sorry. And dimension requests, dimension level, no level, apply, use. And then these two, the 43 and the Adrian should disappear. So, there, you're good to go. So, your drawing is fine. You understand a little better what's going on with these processings, at least. And now you have something solid to go and look at. Now, that's taken me, I guess, five minutes or so. So, let's see if we go. If we go, yeah. If we go into our images, which I've downloaded, go to your downloads, and I go to C1, there you go. So now you have this to look at afterwards when you go <laughs> when you go home, I guess. Um, it'll just help you understand it a little better. So what we can do is we can see that number 43 is here, and it's processing. And now you can go here, and you can see that's a beam end processing LTA. And then you can see, you know, so you can go through it. This is how I'm going to start compiling mine. Uh, hopefully it will help me. So maybe it will help you too. All right. Uh, if you have any interest in any of my videos, please subscribe. So I can put out some more content if anybody is watching, hopefully. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.